Supporting wise teachers with the integration of standards, curriculum, and technology, this is ETEC Connection. Cyber Class in Session explores the distinct characteristics and challenges of online learning and teaching in this unique environment. Leeward Community College's Leanne Chung has the story. It gives them flexibility in their schedule. Um, they can do their teaching or their studying at the time that's convenient for them. You can now register online. It's amazing what they're putting in now. They've got a whole system online. You have to mail in a check. They have a, you can even order your, your textbooks and have them delivered to your house now. And a lot of my students, like they, either this is their first one and they plan to take another one, or they're taking this one because they took another one before. So they do get hooked. Even if it's difficult, they get hooked. I'm actually taking three online courses at uh, Leeward, and it's been quite an experience. It's, it helps me to not have to commute because I wa work really long hours. I usually work and then go home and late at night and early in the mornings. I can actually log on at any time I want and uh, access my coursework, and I'm working towards a bachelor's degree all online. Let's say uh, somebody works 10 hours a day, and he or she only has maybe a two or three hour slot at nine at night to take the class. They can do that. Uh, they don't have to drive into the campus to take the class. Some of my course are, are only online and then some of my course are, are teleweb, which is half online. So I, I, spend, I spend most of my time studying. It's easier in the sense that you can work at your own pace and you can get ahead when you need to if you have a, a, an unusual schedule. It's much more difficult uh, in the aspect that you have to do a lot more reading. There's a need for more self-discipline to do that regularly and to keep up with the class. So there's pluses and minuses. Some of my class, they have like weekly chat time. They, that you can go in and, and chat back and forth between the teacher or the team and sometimes we get off the subject and stuff but uh, but it's good for people to communicate and you know if they uh, if somebody need help they can send a message online and uh, ask for help uh, or or they give us a phone number and they call me or we can get together a group other than just the internet for a group study and stuff it does work well for people who want not to have don't want to have to commute and want to spend more time maybe at home with their families or uh, need to access their work at all hours of the day or night. They maybe don't have a set schedule. They, the, the big mistake a lot of people make though is they need to have enough time set aside to do that work. They think that it's going to be less time to take an online course than to go into to a classroom and it really isn't. I've definitely made some changes in myself. I've had to be much more organized in how I set aside time in every day. I have to plan ahead. I have to really look at what's, uh, what's due when and how does that fit into my everyday schedule. And I have to push myself to do things that are out of my comfort zone. Okay, so when a student logs on, they go to the home page. So in the beginning, I post reminders um, of what's coming up, assignments that they have to do. So this is my way of talking to them when they first get into the class. The course is called uh, Introduction to Photoshop or Digital Art. And we cover a lot of the technical things regarding Photoshop. And then I have um, notes throughout the week. You know, um, where I'm talking to them about maybe assignments that they've done or what's coming up ahead. And so these notes change. And then any other um, announcements, so like a tutoring update. I have some audio in the course. So like this audio clip here, um, I'm just talking to them about the, an assignment that they just finished and what to consider for the upcoming unit. I I find that there's a need to also teach the students about art, design, color theory, things like that, because many of them have not taken or are taking at the same time 
the introductory art classes as well. So they need a lot of reinforcement in that. These are the different sections in the course. So there's a course calendar where all of their assignments and due dates are here. So they would just click on a day and then it will tell them what to do. They can also use the calendar to make um, their own entries. So they can make private entries and it can function like a diary. Private to them and I'm the only one that can post public entries. There's a course outline um, and every instructor looks at it and has to meet those goals. So in this class, um, a student will, and then there are all these out outcomes of the A student will know how to use Photoshop to do this, or will know how to use Photoshop to create layers, will know how to use Photoshop to um, create um, web content, things like that. The heart of the course is located in the course tools. So I have my course syllabus, and then the content is in the course unit. And then each section has an assignment, and these are longer writing assignments that require for them to turn in an electronic portfolio. So the first unit was just to help them understand what's involved in an electronic portfolio. So I have directions here and a PowerPoint. So this is what took me uh, a semester and a summer to to figure out, and it, it took me a while just to get these seven units and these five sections uh, conceptually. Uh, students in these classes have to be a little bit more knowledgeable coming into the class about certain basic computer skills, such as being familiar with logging on to a computer, being familiar with their computer system itself. How do you save files in a systematic way? How do you send files over the internet? Those probably will be covered, but it would be really hard if no one knew what was going on. It's a hard class. Even, even working with kids one-on-one, -on -one even, it's a hard class. But I look at it as a challenge. If this works, then a lot of other things can also work. They got me involved with Lian Chan. She's tutoring me. She's great. She's been showing me how templates, the Leeward, ha, Leeward has uh, templates that the instructors can use to develop their class instruction online. And so there are also some, I believe there's some JavaScripting in there that's already preset and some other um, web-based programming that's already been done. So all we have to do is drop the content in. I think the thing that sets them apart, the online instructors apart from people who would rather teach face-to-face -face are they want to be a little more creative and they have a vision of how they can use some of the tools. They might not have the vision right away. They um, might experiment with one technology and see how it can be used as a tool to enhance their course. And then they build on those skills. It's a constant revision. So if this doesn't work, then you try something else. And you're constantly going through a um, process of revising and using different technologies or different tools to continue to improve your course. We're going to be including video, audio, animation, things that um, I think grab the students' attention more because um, the technology is getting to be more interactive. It is a wave of the future. It will change the way you look at teaching and whether you decide to continue to teach on the web or not, it will definitely change your approach and your outlook on teaching in a regular classroom. It has me. And that's really uh, been challenging and overwhelming at times, but it, it's, it's working and I know that I've got a, a goal for the future and that's worth achieving. ETech Connections extends a note of thanks to Leanne Chun and the staff, students, and faculty of Leeward Community College for sharing experiences. We encourage you to make use of the resources provided on the eTech Connections website, including an online readiness self-evaluation, distance education resource links, answers to frequently asked questions, an online course simulation, and other resources. In addition, feel free to explore our website for other overviews and feature videos and resources related to a wide variety of projects. Cyber Class in Session 
has been a Lay Aloha production of the Educational Technology Department, College of Education, University of Hawaii.